Once again, we are reviewing the steps in creating a source paragraph. Step number one in writing a source paragraph is to create a topic center for the paragraph that's about the ideas of your thesis. So every paragraph should begin with a connection to the thesis and what this paragraph is going to contribute to the thesis. Now that's not this author is going to contribute the, to the ideas of the thesis, but why did you choose that author, right? This author talks about how violence and silence go together. Okay, there we go. Now we can talk about it, okay? All right, your source introduction is step two. You take a few sentences to introduce your source in sentences. That um, means that you give context for your quote by making sure the reader knows what piece you're referring to, who wrote it, and what's going on around the quote you plan to use. So you, you give a sentence where you're telling me the author's name, you give another sentence where you're using the, the title and perhaps a third or fourth sentence summarizing that source briefly. Now, a summary is what you can say about the article without looking at it, okay? Um, so that's summary. So it looks like this when it's really simplified. In Jack Stone, that's the art author, in Jack Stone's article, The New Ice Age, he claims that global warming is only temporary. The article appeared in the Daily News in 2002 and discusses the geographical timeline of global temperature. Okay, so that's just the really basic, okay? Note, this may take more than one sentence and should not be in the same sentence as the quote itself. Take your time with the source paragraph here. Quote integration. How many quotes are you looking for in each of your paragraphs, y'all? Three, thank you. Um, he contends that, quote, the average temperature of Pluto also rose for 20 years and then it began a, began a 25 year period of reversal in which it cooled. So again, we're putting the quote as part of a complete sentence. Um, note, you may quote more than once in a source paragraph. Each quote, sh keep each quote short and to the point and put your own analysis after each one. Then there's a citation placement. Now for online sources and database sources, you are using paragraph six. For your short story, you can use a page number, which will be just a number alone in parentheses. So again, when you see a number by itself in parentheses, that's a page number. And you can use that for the PDFs of the short stories. With your um, online sources and your AVL sources, you'll follow this format where it says paragraph number. So you're going to have two different kinds of citations in this essay. Page number for the short story and paragraph number for your critical sources. That's your online sources and your AVL sources, okay? And then you follow that with analysis. And again, please remember that analysis should not be telling me what the words mean. Your job is not to paraphrase the quote. I'm a very good reader, and as your audience, I don't need you to tell me what it means. I need you to tell me why it's important and how that quote supports your thesis. Right? So I need you to make those connections for me rather than paraphrasing. All right. So in taking a look at this handout, there are some reminders. Long quotes of more than four lines require block quote format, which is different than what's described above. I'm asking you to avoid those um, by using summary and paraphrase and analyzing smaller, smaller quotes at one time. Okay. Um, avoid using numbers in place of giving context. So please don't say on page four of her article, she says this. That's not very informative. You can say in the second half of her article, or you can say after she explains Amy Tan's childhood, she tells us comma quote, okay? Um, but don't use the page numbers. Nobody remembers what happens in act four, scene two of Hamlet. We do remember the, deadly, the, the deadly bloody scene at the end, right? So um, use what's going on to orient your reader, not the numbers, okay? Um, 
Keeping source introductions separate from quote integration helps you avoid run-on sentences and other grammatical errors when matching sentence grammar to quote grammar. As a matter of fact, the shorter you can keep those quote integration phrases, the easier they are. All right, and then we have a sample paragraph. I think we've gone over this before, but again, the topic sentence is in black. The source introduction is blue, and you can see I spend about four sentences on it. Um, the, quote the quote integration and citation are green and red, and again, you have that quote integration phrase at the beginning and that citation at the end. Um, purple is analysis, and that's important so that you can see what analysis looks like. When it's orange, it's a paraphrase. If you say something that's very close to the text in your own words, you still need to give a citation for that. Um, and then and analyze that as well. And then we have another quote integration. And then we have analysis ending every paragraph. Okay, so we go through this process every single time in every paragraph where you're required to be talking about a source. So your biography source from the, from the internet, your history source from the internet, your cultural context source from the internet, your close reading paragraph, and your AVL source paragraph all follow this same paragraph pattern. Questions about this pattern? Yes, sir. Seven. There are two. There are two close reading paragraphs where you're talking where you're talking about the story, and those are source paragraphs because you're using the short story. Then there's biography. Then there's historical. Con there's historical. Then there's cultural context. AVL number one and AVL number two seven paragraphs of source use, and then you have your thesis and concluding paragraph for nine. Now remember, if you're doing my assignments in the weekly thing, if you did your two assignments for last week, then you're with me, right? Um, and you just stay with me and you'll have the right number, right? So if you're doing each of the smaller assignments, I'm having you build this essay three paragraphs at a time, okay? Okay. Questions about this 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 model? 